What's up everyone, Andre here with a super exciting update because Mario 3D All-Stars just got updated to version 1.1.0 and not only did it add the camera controls, the ability to invert the camera controls, but get this, as you may see, it added GameCube support for Super Mario Sunshine. So we're gonna check that baby out first and see what's going on here. I am so excited. I never expected this to happen. This is, this is one of my biggest complaints about the game, that it didn't support the best controller ever made, at least up until the DualSense. And I want to check this out right now. All right, here we go. Hop into my 85 Shine file, which now I may be, I may, I have reason to finish it now, assuming this actually works, as we've heard. Oh, come on, let's get, let's get us in there. Oh, so far so good. Okay, now this doesn't tell us, this, this, it also worked before, just not officially. The key thing is, the analog button. So let's try using Galva Tree Mario. Let's try pressing R. Oh, a light spray! We are running around spraying. If you hold it down. Oh, there we go! We can do it! We're doing so if you hold it down just a little bit, you do the spray all running, you hold it down all the way, you go into the ability to aim, which is brilliant. Oh, this is so good. This is exactly what I wanted. Uh left of course is still used to uh strafe back and forth, and I don't think that did anything else. So, yeah, that's that's basically it. So you can now also, actually it's not it, you can moderate how, how, strong, how strong your spray is. So if you just press it a little bit, the spray just kind of spurts out. If you hold down farther, it goes, as you might expect, farther as well. And then, of course, you can hold down once again all the way to actually aim, which is so much better than how it worked on the Switch. I mean, on the Switch it required two buttons. This is more elegant. So this is a far better improvement. I love it. Big fan. Thank you, Nintendo. Now, um, in case you're not a huge fan of these aiming controls, uh, you can also change that now, too. Now, we actually ha have to use our uh, Joy-Con or Pro Controller to do this, to access the, uh, oops, not that, to access the in-game options, which, if you check out the options screen now, you're going to find a whole bunch of new controls here, including the ability to uh, invert the normal camera, both horizontally and vertically, as well as the uh, as well as when you move into basically the first person view um, or the closest thing you have to first person view in Mario Sunshine, but you can also invert the flood controls we were just using. So let's check those out real quick. Um, well, first let's check out how it was normally. So when aiming flood like this, up is up and down is down. Now if you go into the options and change it to inverted, as you might guess. Oh, sorry, it's a little tricky to do one handed. Up is now down, and down is now up. So that is working great. Now when it comes to the normal camera, you can see that pressing down pulls the camera out, pushing it up moves it in, whereas pressing right moves the camera to the left, and pressing left moves the camera to the right. Well, let's see what happens if we invert all of that. Alright, we're going to invert the uh, horizontal and vertical, and... Now, down brings it in, up moves it out, whereas left, or sorry, pressing right moves the camera uh, to the right, and pressing the left moves it to the left. Now there's still one more thing we want to check out, and that's basically the first person mode, or what's the closest thing to first person mode, being this, where normally, uh, you know, pressing up moves the camera up, and moving it down moves it down, uh, whereas right moves it to the right, and left is to the left. Well, if we go back to the options screen and adjust that... We can adjust the horizontal and vertical Mario cam to both be inverted. Sorry, once again, one hand is, be, is really tricky uh, trying to control the Joy-Cons. All right, here we go. So now uh, right is left and left is right. I don't like that. Uh, whereas, and uh, pressing down now moves it up and up is down, which is more understandable. I'll never understand the left to right thing here, but hey, the option's there if you want it. So this is great. These are great additions. Uh, to Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Having full game controller support, yes. Having the ability to invert the controls just makes it more accessible. So these are all good additions. Before we finish up, I wanted to show off the camera controls in Mario 64 as well, which also matches up with Super Mario Galaxy. So uh, normally, the camera controls are, if you press the, the camera stick to the right, the camera moves to the left, and left, if you press left, it moves to the right. Um, now if we go to the option screen you'll see that we have three options, being the ability to invert the camera horizontally, vertically, or sorry, horizontally, uh, as well as horizontally when in first person mode, or and vertically when in first person mode. Um, so we're gonna focus on, we'll do, go ahead and change all three. But now you'll see that when we move the control stick to the right, the camera actually moves in that direction, and left 
left. And this is actually how it worked in the original game. In fact, it, uh, inverting in this way uh, makes the camera controls work the same to how they used to in all three games. So they changed it from Mario 3D All-Stars. I think they match more modern interpretations of the controls, which I prefer now, but it's also how the option regardless. Now, it is a little bit weird to go into, again, Mario mode, um, because <laughs> I inverted it, so right is makes you look left, and left makes you look right. Again, not a huge fan of that, but I don't mind... The uh, up, you know, pressing up makes it look down, and pressing down makes it look up. It's still a little, a little bit weird for me these days, but something I haven't used to in the past. I'm sure many of us have experienced controls of this nature. So, yeah, this is a net improvement. A huge net improvement from Mario 64, or sorry, Mario 3D All-Stars. It's great having more accessibility controls. Um, I know some people had a lot of trouble playing this game before, and now we have these options. And I love being able to use a game controller in Super Mario Sunshine. That is just a massive addition. That's that's how the game was meant to be played originally, and it works perfect. Now, Nintendo, can you please patch in Wii Remote Controls for, for uh, Super Mario Galaxy? I'd love that. I'm not expecting it, but hey, I'll take it. All right, everyone. With that, we're about done here. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know what you think of this update in the comments below, and we'll catch you next time. Bye, everyone. Mm -hmm.